the 10 most diverse states in America. Hey folks, today we'll be giving you a look at the 10 most diverse states in the good old US of A, according to the most recent data from the United States Census Bureau. But before we get started, although we're pretty sure everyone already knows this, we just wanted to say that just because the states on this list made the cut for being the most diverse in the nation, that doesn't mean that the cities and neighborhoods within them are diversity utopias and melting pots of cultures and religions where everything and every day is all rainbows and unicorns. Okay, we have no idea what that rainbows and unicorn thing even means, but what we're trying to say is that though these states have the highest percentages of different races, in a lot of instances, those races are usually concentrated in areas of the according to race and economic status. Lastly, if diversity is your thing, Hey, America is a pretty big place, so you have plenty of places to choose from. Now, let's talk culture. Number 10, New Mexico. Population 2,135,024. In 1598, the Spanish established the first European settlement in what is now New Mexico. The colony of Santa Fe became the capital of the Spanish province of New Mexico and the Spanish influence can still be seen today in the state's architecture, art, and traditions. New Mexico remained a Spanish colony until 1821, when Mexico gained its independence from Spain. At the time, New Mexico became part of Mexico, and the Mexican influence on the state's culture and cuisine became more pronounced. In 1846, during the Mexican-American War, the United States took control of New Mexico. This event marked the beginning of a new chapter in the state's history, as the region became part of the United States. As the United States expanded westward in the 19th century, New Mexico's population grew and became more diverse. The arrival of the railroad in the late 1800s brought new settlers to the region and the state's economy began to shift from agriculture to mining, ranching, and other industries. 51% of the residents of New Mexico identify as Hispanic or Latino, 35.9% identify as white, 11.2% as Native American or Alaska Native, 2.7% as Black or African American, and 1.9% identify as Asian. Number 9, Florida. Population 22,359,251. Florida was a Spanish colony until 1821 when it was ceded to the United States. And throughout its history, the state has been a melting pot of different cultures and peoples. In addition to the Spanish, African-American slaves were brought to Florida by the Spanish and later by the British, who also controlled the state at various times. The Cuban population in Florida began to grow in the late 19th century, and by the 1960s, many Cubans were fleeing the communist regime of Fidel Castro. Similarly, many people from Haiti and other Caribbean islands migrated to Florida in search of better economic opportunities. Also, for decades, the state's climate has attracted retirees and new residents of all races and ethnicities from other states due to its warm weather, sandy beaches, and theme parks. 52.7% of the population of Florida identifies as white, 26.8% as Hispanic or Latino, 17% as Black or African American, 3% as Asian, and 2.4% as two or more races. Number 8, Georgia. Population 11,019,186. In 1732, the British founded the colony of Georgia, which was named in honor of King George II. Over time, the colony's population grew with the arrival of French traders, Spanish missions, and African slaves who worked on the plantations. After the Civil War, many African Americans remained in Georgia. The state's black population also grew in part because of the Great Migration from 1910 through 1970. Its role as a center of activism during the civil rights movement and its thriving economy, diverse cultural offerings, and reputation as the center of black excellence. 51% of the population of Georgia identify as white, 33% as Black or African American, 10.2% as Hispanic or Latino, 4.6% as Asian, and 24 as two or more races. Number 7, New York. Population, 20,448,194. New York was first settled by Dutch colonists in the early 17th century, who established a trading hub called New Amsterdam, which later fell under British control and was renamed New York. New York City remained an important center of trade and commerce and played a crucial role in the American Revolution. The city's prosperity continued to attract immigrants from around the world contributing to its diversity. The rest of the state was also influenced by New 
New York City's diversity, with cities located near it such as Jersey City, New Rochelle, and Yonkers becoming the most diverse thanks to large immigrant communities and the city's resources and opportunities. The proximity to New York City appears to be a significant factor in the diversity of these cities, serving as an example of the rich blend of cultures and ethnicities that make up the state and the importance of celebrating and valuing diversity. 54.7% of the population of New York identifies as white, 19.5% as Hispanic or Latino, 17.6% as Black or African American, 9.3% as Asian, and 2.8% as two or more races. Number 6. New Jersey Population 9,438,124 the first European settlement in New Jersey was by the Dutch in the early 17th century, but the English eventually took control of the colony in the mid-17th century. In the late 19th century and the early 20th centuries, many immigrants arrived in New Jersey, including Italians, Irish, Poles, and Germans seeking work in the growing industrial sector. Today, New Jersey is home to a diverse mix of cultures including sizable populations of Hispanic and Latino, white, black or African American, and Asian residents. Immigrants have settled in New Jersey with many coming from all over the world, attracted by economic opportunities, affordable housing, and the state's proximity to New York City. The state is also home to several ethnic neighborhoods and enclaves, showcasing the state's cultural diversity. 53.5% of the population of New Jersey identifies as white, 21.5% as Hispanic or Latino, 15.3% Black or African American, 10.3% as Asian, and 24 as two or more races. Number 5. Texas Population 30,345,487 The state of Texas has a rich cultural history, with the first inhabitants, like most of the nation, being Native American tribes. However, the arrival of Spanish colonizers in the 1600s began to change the state's cultural landscape. Mexico also established a colony in Texas in the early 1800s, leading to a significant influx of Mexicans into the state. In the mid-1800s, European immigrants started living in Texas, drawn to the promise of new opportunities and fertile land. Germans, Poles, Czechs, and Irish were among the settlers who established farming communities in Texas. The population of African Americans also grew during this period with many being brought to Texas as slaves. However, African Americans established their communities and businesses after the Civil War, contributing to the state's cultural diversity. Texas is also home to a sizable Asian population, with Chinese immigrants being among the first to arrive. Later, Filipinos, Vietnamese, and Indians migrated to Texas as well. In recent years, the state has seen an influx of Middle Eastern immigrants attracted to the state's economic opportunities and educational institutions. 43.3% of the total population of Texas identifies as white, 40.2% as Hispanic or Latino, 13.2% as Black or African American, 5.5% as Asian, and 2.2% as two or more races. Number 4. Maryland Population 6,298,325 European settlers, including English, Scots, and Irish, arrived in what is now Maryland in the 17th century. In the 18th century, Maryland became an important center for the slave trade, with many enslaved Africans brought to the state to work in plantations. However, following the Civil War, many African Americans migrated to Maryland from southern states, contributing to the state's cultural diversity. In the mid-20th century, Maryland saw a significant arrival of immigrants from Europe, Latin America, and Asia. Many European immigrants, including Germans, Irish, and Italians, established communities in the state, contributing to its cultural richness. Hispanic and Latino populations have also grown in Maryland in the recent years, with immigrants from countries such as Mexico and El Salvador. Today, 49% of the population of Maryland identifies as white, 31.4% as Black or African American, 11.1% as Hispanic or Latino, 6.9% as Asian, and 3.1% as two or more races. Number 3. Nevada Population 3,225,832 Nevada's history is strongly tied to the mining industry and the many immigrants it attracted to the area. The region was initially explored by European settlers way back in the 1700s and later became a part of the Spanish Empire before the United States acquired it in 1848. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, Chinese immigrants came to Nevada to work in mining or on the railroad, which added to the state's diverse culture. Along with the Chinese, immigrants from Europe, including Germans, Irish, and Italians, also arrived in the 
state in search of new opportunities. In the mid-20th century, Nevada's population kept expanding and becoming more diverse. The state's location near California and the growing economy made it a popular destination for African Americans seeking work and opportunities. Consequently, the state saw a significant increase in its African American population. Additionally, Hispanic and Latino immigrants arrived in Nevada during this time, mainly from Mexico, to work in the construction and hospitality industries. As a result, Nevada is home to an assortment of cultures with substantial populations of white, Hispanic and Latino, and Asian residents. 46.6% of the population identifies as white, 29.9% as Hispanic or Latino, 10.6% as Black or African American, 9.1% as Asian, and 4.9% as two or more races. Number 2. California Population 40,223,504 Orne has a wild and colorful history that dates back to the 16th century, when the first European settlers from Spain arrived and made a home here. After that, California became part of Mexico for a bit before finally becoming the 31st state in 1850. Throughout the years, people from all over the world have flocked to California seeking new lives and fortunes. The gold rush was a huge draw for the Chinese, Japanese, and Filipinos, while Italians, Irish, Germans, and Greeks came to California later on. African Americans also made their way here after the Civil War, and in the mid-20th century, many African Americans from the South migrated to California. In the latter years of the 20th century, the state has steadily seen an arrival of even more people from Latin America, including Mexico, Central, and South America. Today, Latinos are the biggest ethnic group in California, and Asian Americans also make up a huge chunk of the population, with folks from all over Asia including China, Vietnam, Korea, and the Philippines. 40.2% of the population of California is Hispanic or Latino, 35.2% identify as white, 15.9% as Asian, 6.5% as Black or African American, and 4.2% as two or more races. Number 1. Hawaii Population 1,483,762 The native Hawaiians were the first to settle on the islands, followed by other Polynesian immigrants from places such as Samoa and Tonga. As the state's economy grew in the 19th century, it attracted immigrants from around the world including Chinese, Japanese, Filipinos, Portuguese, and Koreans who brought their own languages, traditions, and cultures with them. Later, Hawaii became a U.S. territory and eventually the 50th state in 1959, drawing in more Americans and contributing to its diverse population. With the presence of American military bases on the islands, Hawaii also became home to many military personnel and their families. Located at the crossroads of major Major Pacific trade and migration routes, Hawaii has also become a hub of commerce and tourism attracting people from all over the world to live and visit. The state continues to be a melting pot of cultures with large populations of Asian, white, and native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander residents with its welcoming atmosphere for all who call it home. 36.8% of the population of Hawaii identifies as Asian, 25% as two or more races, 21.4% as white, 11.1% as Hispanic or Latino, 10.5% as Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, and 2.2% as Black or African American. Well folks, that's a wrap for this list and this video. If you enjoyed this type of content, please comment below and let us know what you think and what other topics you'd like to see covered. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please do us a favor and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Thanks for watching!